Welcome. In this video you'll learn how to add and remove uh, staff members uh, to your ResNexus and how to grant each user their own ResNexus account. It is important that each uh, team member or each employee that you have uh, has their own access to ResNexus. First that's part of PCI compliance which is required by your credit card processor and second it's really annoying if you share a username and uh, any a username and password and the other person changes the password on you and you don't know it so it is very good practice to uh, for each person that will use ResNexus within your organization to give them their own uh, their own user account so let's get started to see to add a staff member you you click on settings then under general settings you click on staff and then we're on, a pay, we're on the staff page that lists our current users. Let's go ahead and click the Add button. So to add a team member, you enter their name, you'd enter their email, and then you'd assign a password and you'd verify that password. Now, for PCI compliance, uh, the the passwords do have to be at least 10 characters in length contain at least one upper and one lower case letter one digit as well as um, a special character and the, the list of special characters is found here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and assign a password Next on this page, each, uh, each of your uh, employees needs to pass a background check. That includes yourself as well. For PCI compliance, you, um, you have to, everybody that, that is going to have access to credit cards needs to have a background check. Now for uh, housekeeping uh, staff, that the only thing they have access to is the housekeeping report. They don't have access to credit card numbers. They wouldn't need a background check. Now ResNexus, we've worked with TalentWise, and we have negotiated a special rate with them for a full PCI background. A lot of times the background checks that a lot of our, our ResNexus users were, fi were finding weren't, uh, they were just a, too simple of a background check and they didn't qualify uh, for a background check for PCI. So we went ahead and negotiated with them a special rate. Um, and you can click on that within ResNexus and do a background check. If you have another provider that you prefer, uh, that's good as well. Once that background check is performed, uh, we do it internally as well. It does take a couple days uh, for a proper PCI check. Uh, once that is done, you will return to this page and check this box. For this time being, we leave it unchecked. Finally, as far as setting up the core rights of a new user within ResNexus, we have to indicate what roles this staff member performs. The first option is General Manager. You really want to limit how many General Managers you assign within ResNexus because General Managers can do everything. They can uh, add rooms, they can add rates, they can change rates, they can do taxes, they can configure the booking engine, they can, they can configure everything. So there are businesses that have given everyone general manager access. We don't recommend that. Uh, general managers can add and remove um, staff and team members. And so if you assign it to someone who's not trustworthy, they can, they can remove all access. Um, so it is important to limit how many general managers uh, you have. Um, assistant manager. Uh, can do most of what the general manager can do, uh, but they can't um, add, or add or remove users. Uh, they can't change a lot of the settings within ResNexus. They can run reports. They can do all front, de front desk and back office operations. They just don't have the rights um, to configure ResNexus like a general manager. Uh, front desk workers basically have access to uh, reservations, arrivals, departures, and housekeeping tasks, uh, guest-related tasks. Uh, that's probably the most common account within ResNexus. 
for housekeepers now with the housekeeping report most most businesses will print it out and hand it to most of their 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 cleaning staff but your housekeeping manager it is good to give them rights to ResNexus so they can see uh, the housekeeping report so they can go in and, and communicate to the rest of your staff what housekeeping tasks have been completed now an owner uh, an owner isn't really a general manager sometimes uh, people think that an owner should have more rights than general managers uh, but in ResNexus uh, an owner has access to reports and course settings owners can add and remove uh, users to ResNexus and, and that's in case if they have a general manager that they have to let go they they have that power and ability to remove them and, and replace them with a different general manager investor uh, if with some rental properties uh, sometimes there's multiple owners so uh, you might have you know 50 rental uh, units and they're owned by 50 different people you can add investor uh, logins for each investor and that gives them rights to certain room reports and then you can go in and assign which rooms are theirs so let's go ahead this person let's make them be a front desk worker and they're also an assistant manager so to do that I, I just click save and we have added that user let's go ahead and let's go to the next tab which is advanced after we create a user we do need to indicate what access they have to credit cards now until a background check has been performed they don't have any access to credit cards and that's to protect those credit card users uh, once they do have a background check so if we come back here and for the time being certify that they have a background check we can now adjust this and the most pop the most common setting is this second setting which is um, this this person has access to credit cards you know one day in the future and one day in the past you can obviously uh, you can you can increase that to be um, longer and what this does is it limits your liability with regards to credit cards so you do want to limit uh, within your organization who has access to credit cards a lot of the fraud that goes on is from a front desk worker that um, they're they're having access to credit cards and what they'll do is they'll go to future reservations and they'll look up credit cards and they'll write them down and then sell them or try to use them um, and so you do want to avoid that this third option or this first option um, you, if you select this they do have it's not recommended but uh, this person would have access to all credit card uh, numbers within the system now they can uh, when you can't see a credit card um, you can see the last four of that credit card um, you can they can so let's say they don't have access to credit card numbers they can still enter new credit card numbers they just can't look them up um, so that's a good note to make here this next area uh, we're not going to talk about in this video we will have a, a special video for it but if you do have multiple properties that use ResNexus this is where you would configure for this user which properties they have access to and like, like I mentioned before we, we have a special video just for setting this up now moving on under options you can select which login page um, you start on uh, now with the starter edition which this sample is configured to you only have one option but if you have essentials or, or professional you can start on the grid you can start on uh, certain pages throughout ResNexus for housekeeping uh, they do start on the housekeeping uh, report by default finally this room access uh, like we mentioned before for owners this is how you would configure that an owner owns specific rooms and you'd go ahead and check those boxes and click save so that is how you add a new uh, staff member and configure them so notice we have our 
our new user. And within ResNexus, there isn't a limit to the number of users you can have. We don't charge based on number of users. Sometimes other systems will do that. We, we want each of your users to have their own user account, and that's required for PCI. Finally, let's, uh, let's go ahead and remove this user. So if someone um, leaves or, or is terminated, you do need to immediately come into ResNexus and remove that, that staff member. It's very easy. You check the box, and then you click Save. Now that user can no longer log into ResNexus. They no longer have access. It's really that simple. Now, in conclusion, um, I'd like to close with probably one of the most common uh, tasks with regards to staff is someone forgets their username and password. Um, they can go through the login screen and request a new password. So they'll get a new temporary password. But if you do need to go in, and change their password. Most of the time you'll come in and just enter a password for them. So that's really staff in a nutshell. You can easily add and remove staff members. You can configure which roles they have. Um, it is important to perform a background check on anyone that does have access or will have access to credit cards.